What are you laughing about? What are you doing? Ho 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 Where are you supposed to go? Right well, he's doing the thing, dude. <laughs> I was going to say something like that, too. <laughs> Welcome back to... Oh, you're not supposed to jump down there. Whoops. Apparently not. <laughs> Sponsored by Mountain Dew. See, that was one thing... That's one thing I was considering. Maybe, like, adding to the setup as, like, a webcam thing that we could do or something. But Where we can cam yeah. our webs. I don't know. Maybe at some point. It's all uh, a work in progress. So I've been I, I started using this uh, website called Zire. Z i r e. Zire. I don't know the Never legit. Heard of it. I, I don't. Yeah, I think it's brand new. I don't really. That's why I'm, I was gonna say I don't know the legitimacy of it, but it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be uh, for music promotion. Okay. That's something I kind of want to explore a little bit more this year. Is like promoting music and trying to promote my brand a little bit. Makes sense. Um, that's kind of. I guess partially the reason why I wanted to kind of get into live streaming a little bit is just like if I end up building some kind of audience, like just a way to engage with them from time to time. Yeah. I don't know how often I'll do it. We'll see, you know, whatever. But um, Zaire has like this, you know, they create like little ads that like, you know, will appear for people to see and then like they can either engage with them or not. So it'll be like <clears throat> a 30 second clip. And then you can, like, if they listen to it, they can rate it. Or, um, uh, you know, it'll take you to the website or whatever if they click it. So, last I checked, uh, it had been, my ads had been viewed 43,000 times. Which is pretty fucking good, actually. Like, yeah. all, all things considered. There's a lot of peeps. Uh, but only 220 of them were actually clicked on. Or, like, you know, there's only 220 clicks out of that. So not a lot, like, not a big turnaround in that regard. No, but people don't click on ads much. No, they don't. Yeah, I'm, I wonder how many of those were accidental. And then it was just funny because they had one thing where you can rate the song. So I picked a 30-second clip. I picked uh, the title track from the Salty Sardine, so the song, the Salty mm -hmm. Sardine. And I picked uh, just, like, the chorus part, I think, going into, like, the second main verse or something. Okay. Um... You know, because that's like, you know, the hook of the song. So I figured that'd be all right. And that's like a relatively digestible part. You know, it's not too proggy or too weird or anything like that, you know? <laughs> that was a weird fall. <laughs> it's, she like didn't know where to land. So, anyway, the long and short of it is is that, like, I checked, like, the, <clears throat> the analytics. Why aren't you going? Weird. You keep dying in the dumbest part. Maybe you can't jump and do it. Oh, there you go. Um, anyway, I checked the analytics or like the, the overall score that the song got, and I think it's only been voted on a couple times. But the the, the score is one point nine out of five. Good, good. <laughs> and every time I see it, it just makes me laugh. I'm like, shit, dude. People hate my fucking music. <laughs> <laughs> It just makes me laugh. Like, I don't take it personally. Like, you know, whatever. You yeah. know, I'm like... I know my music's probably, like, a little... Niche. Yeah, niche and, like, obtuse. Like, people aren't, like, generally gonna like it. And that's fine. <coughs> I just think it's funny. They're, they're just like, fuck this dude. He sucks. <laughs> Wait, let me grab. Can you not climb all the way up? I'm trying. There oh, it is. There had to be in a specific spot. Yeah, this part's a little dumb. Wanky. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, God, no. And then I've been trying to... <laughs> I've been trying to, like, make, like, a video documentary style type thing for this other album I'm recording. How's that going? Uh, I just... Like, any time I decide to work on it, I just will sometimes put the camera on for, like, a little bit and then edit together some shit. I already really... I did one video of just a bunch of compiled footage that I had. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, like, me, you know, trying to chronicle it some way, in some way, you know? Melissa got me that, that camera over there for Christmas, so...
<laughs> I wonder if she's gonna fall if you just sit there. <laughs> I'm touching her butt. Her pants would fall off. Yes, they would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm humping you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fraser, just climb, damn it! Yeah. Fraser, yeah. climb! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bitch. <laughs> She's got a good grip and, and a yeah. lot of patience. Yeah, she, a, lot of, a lot of patience, really strong grip. There's a reason why she could beat the hell out of people so easily. <laughs> All these guys have really nice, like... Forearm strength. Mm hmm. Worth it? No. You guys are on like a fucking precipice here. Like, you should probably get off of that as soon as you can. Yeah, one wind gust and you're dead. And you would experience a wind gust for sure. Oh. For nice. sure. There's so many of these things in this in this, in this this game, anyway, like uh, Uncharted 4 and the, and the Lost Legacy here. There's no way you could do that. That is physically impossible. That is physically impossible. Yeah, to um, throw a hook thingy like that. And then to be detach able to fly it and throw it, yeah. it at another one? Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna happen. No, you can't do that. <clears throat> there's, um, yeah, I was just saying, like, there's so much emphasis in Uncharted 4 and this game on, like, these, like, you know, big expanse looking <laughs> areas and things. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I'm like, that's like the centerpiece of the Uncharted 4 is like, look at this gigantic thing that we made. Now climb it. Now climb it. Or just look at it. Like, there's so much and detail. And then climb it anyway. Yeah. If you ain't climbing it, you ain't uncharting it. Yeah. You're and just I mean, uncharting it. I don't know. It. Like, that, there's obviously a lot of work that goes into that, but I don't know. I, I knock them for putting effort into their game. <laughs> oh, and that's no. not, that's not fair. But <laughs> nice rock. Trippy shit, my ass. Trippy Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? No, but a trippy shit is a different thing. You can handle heavier projectiles like this one. Yeah, trebuchet is the one where it's like it uh, like uses a, a counter <laughs> counter yeah. weight. Wow! Wow! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the rope gave up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in, Nady. Yeah. Incredible. It's our old friends, Parish Hill and Ganesh. Parish Hill and Ganesh. Parish Hill and Ganesh. Yeah. Uh, my. How would she? Why would she have any control over that hook then? Like, you're fucking already, like, adding weight to it. You can't get it off of there. Yeah, I know. I mean, whatever. It's a fucking video game. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, you know, people, like, I wonder, if, like, who, how we've gotten to that point where, like, um, I think wow, there's a treasure back behind you, I think, somewhere. Wow, this is beautiful. I saw, like, a glimmer to the left there, I think. Yeah, right there. Um,. Like, where the, like, just media culture has gotten to the point where everybody just fucking is so analytical of everything <laughs> and critical. Like, who would she even do that? Like, uh, you know, it's like, it's a video game. Fucking cares. I like the water reflecting on the walls in here. It's cool. Yeah. I just want to get wet. That's a nice, that's a nice little touch. Oh, I think there's like a, a fish in there too or something like that. You can see the bubbles coming up. Or something like that. At least, like, you can... Yeah, like, over there. What is that? Is there a fish, or is it just bubbles? Just air bubbles? Just bubbles. That's still cool. Like, that that little detail <coughs> I like. I like little details like that. I like... 
a little bit of detail in my life. All the skyboxy shit I could take or leave, but a little know. bit of skyboxy shit I can take or leave. And there's like a little blade of grass floating. A little around. bit of grass. <laughs> <in the thing. laughs> Where's my little hand holds? Oh, Why aren't they painted yellow? Oh, there's some water droplets coming down. That's cool. A little bit of water droplets coming down. <coughs> Where are my little hand holds at? I gotta go. Maybe it's this way. No. I honestly don't remember where you're supposed to go. <laughs> it ain't that way. It can't be that way. It's gotta be this way. Look at this. No, I don't think so. Go back up. Okay. Maybe maybe it's just the oh, maybe door. Is, is that hole there? How about that hole? There you go. Yeah. Who looks yeah. for holes? We never go through holes. <clears throat> Speak for yourself. This is this is a whole game about holes. Holes the game. Yeah. <laughs> it's a digging simulator. See how, see how many onions you can eat. <laughs> a digging simulator. Yeah, it's a digging simulator. That's slash actually, uh, historical, <laughs> and then you can watch some town folk uh, hang a black guy. Oh, you know, sorry, he gets uh, he gets a shot. It's the Gurney Weaver simulator. <laughs> Doesn't he get shot? I don't remember. It's been a long time. Because I believe he's in the middle of the the lake. Who the black guy? Yeah. I don't know. He's, you have a better memory of it than I do. I just remember Stanley yelling at some fucking zero go out and eat onions and sploosh in the fucking desert. <laughs> sploosh! <laughs> Kaboom! Sploosh. We should play that. That's, that's, Wind Waker? A, that's like my favorite Zelda game. If we're talking about Zelda, like Wind Waker is my favorite one. Oh my god, my dick. A lot of people were like pissy about like. Twilight no, twi like oh, Twilight. Well, yeah. that and Twilight Princess. I was saying Twilight Princess, but I like Twilight Princess a lot too. My favorite will always be Link to the Past. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Zelda's a good series. For as much as I'm like, I talk shit on like the story and everything. I just think that like I don't know. They should do something different with it. That's all. It's like I'm tired of fighting Ganon over and over again. I'm tired of being yeah. Link. It's like fucking make it different. <laughs> like rather than redesigning the same races over and over again, how about you just make new ones? Like you know, we've seen Gorons and Zoros before. Like why don't you do something different? <laughs> yeah, like like fucking sex slaves. I mean, Tiflings. Zerg. Yeah, put the Zerg in. There. Put the Zerg. In put the Zerg and the Protoss. <laughs> yeah. Put them in. There's kind of like a like a faux futuristic computer shit in Breath of the Wild. Just put Protoss in there. It's yeah. fine. That, uh, that'd be something that I'd be interested. In. I don't even. I'm not even a big Starcraft fan, but fuck, it'd be something new. Well, that's different. Now I gotta make it line up. If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Why? Okay, on the left. We have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva Ganesha's father gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. Oish. Family. Come Oish. on, let's see if I don't mean that door. She's, uh, she's uh, a British, right? I should. So this is like actually like a cool puzzle. Like it, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the most fun puzzle to do, but like the way in which it works, like <clears throat> it must have been so hard to. Um, it must have been so difficult to like figure out how to do. Like all the shadows and everything. Like that's, yeah. that's a really cool idea. So, so you gotta get that axe in the middle, don't you? Yep. And then you gotta move that dude to the right. Let's see what's happening. Okay. 
Do I need to move Shiva closer? No, I just need to get that axe in the middle, I think. Somehow. Yeah, because, like, depending upon which angle you're at. So that one, the top right one, you got to move left, I think. That one, yeah. Yeah, that one there. Because I got all those. Um, do I need to, to get these both. at the same time? Maybe. Yeah, that one's all done, right? Yeah, because I got the X, I got... Do I... Yeah, maybe, maybe you gotta do the other one, too. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't remember. Well, in that case, the... Put... Go... Uh, the other one. Right... No, 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 no. The center one you gotta do, because you gotta get the... <clears throat> shit on the other side, right? I think, right? Yeah. You gotta get... Him on the... Outside, so yeah, move that one and then move him back. Yeah, so the other way. But he's got to, I think he's got to stay there because that's where the axe is supposed to go. <clears throat> and then he's got to go to the left. That guy, yeah. Yeah, man. And then the other one on I need that to catch side. This guy back. Yeah. This way. That guy in the center, and then I think you move the other one to the. I think it's. Oh no! 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 Uh, yeah. Because you got to get him in the center. That's the thing that it's going to go further than that. Yeah. Okay. So what I need to do. Is. Well, next time on Chester Draft Jazz, we'll pick this up. Whoa.